Hey, so we've already covered what 3D objects are and how assets are organized. So we're ready to jump into shots. Shots are the individual elements that make up an animated film. They're usually composed of four main tasks, storyboard, layout, animation, and lighting. Other types of tasks include comp, effects, scene, rotoscoping, and matte paints. Shots have a few common elements that are shared all through the different tasks. Frame rate, length, color space, gamma, output resolution. We've covered some of these before. It's a little bit hard to talk about shots without using some examples. So I thought I'd recreate a shot from Toy Story in Blender to walk you through the process. The first shot where Woody wakes up from toy mode should do the trick. The first thing we need to do is to plan our shot. That happens on storyboards. We basically need to draw the rough placements of the elements and actions. This is also the place we define the length of the shot. The input for this task is an idea, a brief from the director, or a piece of the script. And the output is a beautiful image and the frame length of the shot. As you can see, I really like to see the inputs and the outputs of each of these tasks. It really helps to organize things further down the road. Next, we go into layout. Here, we're going to place the elements and the camera. In this instance, we're taking the Woody Rig task and the Room Bundle task into our file. This room is composed of three elements, the bed, the cabinet, and the walls. Each of these elements is gonna be located in our 3D space. This scene description has all the coordinates for the room, its elements, and Woody. At this point, we add the camera and its movement. So, the input of our layout task are those storyboard, and the output is gonna be the scene description and a camera task, a single file with the camera. This file that we get from layout literally is a text file. Here's an example of it. And when you start to get into more complex pipelines, what happens is that this file becomes the assembly and disassembly instructions for each of the scenes. In terms of artistic views, layout usually gets bundled together with the placement of the camera, which is fine in an artistic context, but in a more technical field, layout really is the position of all the elements, including the camera. Now we're ready for animation. In animation, we get to create the movement for our characters and the illusion of light. I'm an animator, so I can talk about this all day, but the general thing you need to get away from this is that when we're animating, we're generally working with rigs and some assets that we move around. The inputs of the camera and the scene description will output an Alembic file for this example. You can also output a Blender, Maya, or native file for this step, but Alembics will be the safest. Finally, we have the lighting task. In here, we import the elements from a layout task via the scene description and the Alembic animation from the animation task. We add the lights, light blockers, environments, and assign the shaders as required. And with that, we have our final animation. We just render this into an image sequence. Pull my string, the birthday party's today? Okay, everybody. Recreating a shot from Toy Story in Blender was also a really fun thing in this video. The fact that in a day or two, I can recreate a shot really speaks to the fact that Blender is a really powerful tool. That's kind of like the inspiring thing, isn't it? That we are in the point of technology where making things look good isn't the main barrier. The whole idea behind this video was to visualize each of the tasks that compose a shot. With this video, now we have the two cornerstones of what make a pipeline, shots and assets. And we can start diving in deep into some of the other stuff, whether that is the process for each of these elements or optimizations within the film. And part of the process is just sitting down at the beginning of all of this and figuring out how the hell we're tackling that. It really is a lot of fun putting the pieces together, especially after you have a structure that allows you to iterate through it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Will and Windmill. See you on the next one.